Now we're on to the J9 block, and the J9 block is a simpler construction than most of them. We have a center, a center square, and then two rectangles, two rectangles, and then a log cabin assembly on the outer section. This is an EPP modified block, which means there have been a couple things that have been changed. So I'm going to reference my booklet, and my booklet has enlarged leaves, which is the only change. So I've got my blocks laid out, and when I did this, when I laid out my blocks and prepped my, prepped my fabric, I thought that my fabric was not directional. And so that's why this one's upside down, because I had to fix some stuff. But I found out when I took it out of the bag and put it in a better light that it actually is directional because these lines go up and down and the flowers are all one specific direction. So I had to go back and recut my football things. So I had to cut them on a 45 degree angle. So they have been marked. And those I'll deal with at the end because those are going to be appliqued on. But those are all right there. And I had enough fabric to fix it, but barely. So, yay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to baste my square opposite sides and then opposite sides. And then I'm going to attach the top and bottom rectangles. After I base them, I base the, side, the short sides first and then the long sides. And then once those are put together, I'm going to put these attach these on here once those are put together I'm going to attach this bottom log cabin section and then this one this one and this one and that will assemble my block then I'll take my footballs and like the diagram shows I will lay them out with the points attached here in line with the edges so that way I'll be able to applique them on. So now is time to get started with the basting. So I've attached the top and bottom rectangles to the center square and now I'm going to baste and attach each one of these to the sides. So I've attached my rectangles to my center section so I've got that whole whole middle block set complete. Now I have the outside border which is the print and this is a log cabin type assembly. So I'm going to take the bars that are the same size as my section I have now. This is the section I have right now and so that means that this bar will be first in the assembly and then once this is attached I'm going to connect this one because this one goes to here, which is I have pieces for that. And then this is attached, so this one's going to go here. This one is the last one, and it completely closes off that square, which will make me finish my pieced sections. So I'm going to deal with these one at a time. I've got my directional fabric notation here. This is my bottom section. So I'm going to base this and attach it. So now that I got that first bottom bar on, I will be able to attach my next one, which is here. And since I've laid this out based on it being upside down, it will end up being on this side. So I will get on to attaching this one. So I've got the left side rectangle on and on to the top section. So now I got the top rectangle on, and so I just need to attach the final rectangle. So now I got the basic block assembled completely, and I just have to attach the little footballs. So I've got to base those with my gathering stitch method and place them for applique. So now I've got my footballs basted, and so I can place them on my block. I'm going to place them so they visually match up to this corner and then they actually line up to the outer corner so that this, from this point to this point is where these edges, so it's a line, a visual line. So I'm going to make sure that that visually, visually touches that and actually touches it. And then this is pointing in line 
to the corner. So then I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to place it, slide it in there. Oops, my piece moved a little bit, so I'm going to fix it. And I will probably hold it with two fingers and then slide this in here. And then we have a placed applique section. So I'm going to do this for all my four corners. I've got the two of the other ones done, so I just have one more left, and then I can applique. Now that I have my applique footballs on the corners, I have now completed my J9 block.